the difference between save and save as always a mystery right <laughs> and i found this out every time i talk to people they just cannot tell the difference between these two functions uh, let's go back button and we're back on our Microsoft Word workspace. Now let's type something very basic. Welcome to Microsoft Word tutorials only. Now we're going to save this document. We're going to file. We could save it had we initially not opened a new document or we could save as now that we are creating the new document and it's that simple if the document is new or if you want to rename the document i'm going to show you how to do that you use the save as feature so let's go to the save as feature so let's go it over again if you want to save a document for the very first time the fresh document it doesn't have a name if you look up here in the title bar it says document 2 word it's fresh doesn't have a name you go to file and you save as now when you click save as this allows you to save it wherever whether you want to save it on your OneDrive your PC you add a place which would be a OneDrive I'll link videos for these things um, so you could check those out. You could share it with people. You could browse for where exactly on your PC or if you have like an external drive added. So I'll stick to browse. Now the dialog box is open. This, this is called the save as dialog box. If you come down here to the left section, you'll see desktop, downloads, documents, pictures, etc. Usually the my document folder or the documents folder is the most popular place to like put your stuff well that was back in the day now people are doing their things in the cloud let's say i just want to save it in my documents now this is the documents folder you click there and you click save and it has been saved now one thing i forgot to mention let's go back here go back to file this is new <laughs> I'm just noticing this in this video that when you click save as it actually comes up as save a copy if you go back to save it as again. It wasn't like that years ago, but evidently this is an update. Let me just start a new one because there's something I want to show you here. Okay, so we have a new document here. So go to file, save as, browse. Always remember to give your file name a name in the file name section and save as type. Now, this is a bit advanced. I'm not, this is not that type of video. So let's just stick to a file name. You have to select the name for your file. Now, let's name the file this or my first file. And you click save but i'm not going to save it because i just did that prior to do it doing this but let's go back to the file that we just actually saved now we go to file now save a copy now this makes sense because back uh in the day or years ago it used to be save as again and then if you want to save it as a different file or in a different location, you would click save as and then do that. But save a copy actually makes sense. So let's say we want to either change the location of this or save a copy because even if you change the location, you're still going to make a copy of it. Or if you want to rename the file, right, as a different name or uh, as a copy of it, you come to File, Save a Copy. Let's say this time you want to do it in your OneDrive, right? And if you're going to do it in your OneDrive, you come up here 
and you change the name. Or you could say B of. Welcome to Microsoft Word Tutorials Only, and you save. And now it was saved to your OneDrive. Or if you don't want it in your OneDrive, you come back here, save a copy, and you could put it wherever you want to put it. So if it goes to browse, add a place, this PC, wherever. I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. I think I just need like 30 more subscribers to get to 1,000 to get monetized. And it would mean the world to me if you do that. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.